Ide TV KPM And we're back for Apple Farm on Ide TV KPM and the topic of our lesson today is shop till you drop. Hmm, all right, over to you, Puan Sugi. Thank you, Sean. All right, as you can see, we have activity 3 which is also on page 52. Now, before that, Sean, you mentioned yes. just now you like shopping. Oh, oh yes. Okay. So, what do you like to buy when you go out? Okay, I I I love uh, shopping for clothes, but of course, I take my time mm -hmm. because I want to make sure that I spend my money my money wisely. I don't just simply go and I'll just buy everything. I usually wait for the sales and of course, it's very important for us to to plan our spending because you wouldn't want to just spend too much and also considering the clothes I already have at home. So, yes, definitely clothes. Good <laughs> idea, Sean. All right, I'm going to go right into activity th number three, everyone. Okay, um, let's get someone to read this for us. Who is going to read? Who's going to volunteer? Okay, great. Hugo, go ahead. Art articles wanted on the 21st century lifestyles. What is the one place where modern teenagers go shopping the most? Sport shops, clothes shops, or electronic shops? Tell us what kind of shop, what they want to buy, and why is it important to them. The best article will be published in next month's magazine. Okay, thank you, Hugo. All right, everyone, like I said earlier, knowing what to do uh, is very important. Therefore, reading the task, even if you have to read another time to understand the task, please do so. Therefore, you will be able to write better. Okay, so this is a writing activity. Okay, so we have a few things that we're supposed to look into before we actually do our writing. Right? right. Don't jump into writing always, always. Plan what you're going to write. Okay, now, um, can uh, Bhavan, Bhavan, can you tell me what are some of the points that we have here that we're supposed to look into? What are the important main points here, Bhavan? The main points in this article is the where are the places that modern teenagers go for shopping? Okay, whether it's a sport shop clothes shop or electronic shop and also what kind of shops they want to go and what they want to buy as well as why is it important to, for them that's right okay so as you can see we are w supposed to write an article mm -hmm. okay so it's an article remember that and remember that the points is what you have to focus on when you write okay don't focus on something else because the marks that will be given for your article will be based on what you write on the points. Okay? I see, okay. All right. Now, as you can see, like Bhavan mentioned just now, we have four main points and this is how you're supposed to organize it on a piece of paper or even in your book. Just organize it by writing down the important questions that appeared in the uh, question itself, the task itself. All right? Mm. It's always a good idea to write things down and plan what you're going to write. Okay, so therefore, I have decided to plan it in this way. We have questions 1, 2, 3 and 4 with the task in the middle. Okay, now, uh, before we go there, let's, uh, let's have, since there are four main points, Sean. Okay. So, we will have four of them having to write something. I okay, see. On okay. each point. Okay. Okay. Maybe the first one I will assign to Hugo. Mm -hmm. Right. The second one will be Bhavan. Okay. The third one I'm going to give it to Eka. Mm -hmm. And the fourth one will be Izan. All right. Is that okay with you? Two thumbs up if you're okay. All right. Fantastic. Okay. So I'm going to give you a little bit of time mm -hmm. and since this is a writing uh, activity, I want you to take a piece of paper or your book and you're going to write what you're going to say. Because here, the activity is we are planning a draft. We are not writing an article yet. Okay. We are just planning a draft. Yes, and I think okay. uh, those of you who are watching at home as well can also give it a try. Maybe we can compare our answers. Once we have our pupils who are online, uh, when they show their answers, then we can compare and see whether it's at least in the right direction. That's right. Yeah. Okay, and don't worry, we will be there to help you to see what's going on. Okay, Hugo, are you ready? Yes. All right, Hugo, what have you written? Hugo is uh, supposed to answer. Which question, Hugo, you're supposed to Number answer? Number one. 
Alright, number one. So, deciding between clothes shop, sports shop, electronic shop, which one are we going to choose? Okay, what um, did you choose? Uh, I'll go for the clothes shop. Clothes shop. Can you just a little bit higher? Alright. Yeah, sure. Right. You have written, I would go to the clothes shop, particularly in a big shopping mall. Okay, these kids live in Kuala Lumpur, mm -hmm. so there's plenty of big <laughs> shopping malls available here in Kuala Lumpur. Alright, please remember everyone, uh, those of you at home as well, it's very important to indicate your um, selection. Okay, right from the get-go, you're supposed to indicate where you have chosen or which shop you have chosen because that is what your teachers want to read when they pick up your article. Okay, alright. Um, so, let's look at the sample here, right? So, here we have the sample of we like going to the, like what he has chosen, the clothes shop, mm -hmm. right? So, a clear indication of what you have chosen. All right, very good. Thank you, Hugo. Okay, now let's go to number two, which was Bhavan, right? Okay, yes. Bhavan, now you are going to tell us what kind of shop it's going to be. All right. Sean, would you like to read what she's written? I'll try my very best. Okay, so here, I think that the kind of shops they would prefer are clothes shops. Um, it is because a clothes shop sells the latest accessories such as shoes and jewellery that are currently trendy. Very Ooh. good. Okay, as you can see, these are modern teenagers. So they want something that's trendy. I'm sure yes. you guys at home are, uh, would like something trendy as well. Okay, so here Bhavan has clearly indicated what kind of shop it is, what kind of clothes shop it is. What does it offer the buyer or the consumer? All right? Okay, so now let's look at the sample answer. The okay. sample answer given here is, we enjoy visiting the clothes shop in a shopping mall because we can find many brands of the latest and trendy, fashionable apparel and accessories. I always tell my students, whenever you get a word that you know there's another word for, for it, so try to use words, instead of clothes, you can use like apparel. Okay, you can use the word apparel to um, replace the words clothes. So you don't sound monotonous and your, your vocabulary is also varied. Yeah. Okay, all right. So let's go on to question number three. That is from Eka. What do they want to buy? Okay, what do they want to buy these teenagers, so these modern teenagers? Eka, can you please read for us? Sure. Normally, girls would buy dresses and skirts, whereas boys buy t shirts and shorts. That's right. So Eka has decided to uh, de separate it. Okay, what would boys buy and what would girls buy? You can do that as well, mm -hmm. okay, to indicate the choices of different types of teenagers. Okay, so let's look at the sample. Okay, what would they buy? They would usually buy, if it's going to be a clothes shop, something uh, designer fashion apparel or even clothing that is trending. Mm -hmm. Okay, popular forms of cloth clothing. Okay, and let's go to the next, uh, the last one. The last question is for Izan. Izan, why is it important to them? Uh, it is important. Okay, Izan, you can read it first. It's more trendy and modern looking. Okay, can you show, show us what you have written? Right, it is important for us because it makes us more trendy and modern looking. So guys at home as well, you can just write a draft, a simple draft of how you're going to go about answering these four questions. Yeah. And when you have to write your actual article, you will not be nervous at all because you've already planned what you're going to say. Okay, let's look at the sample answer for Ezen's question. Right, the sample answer here would be buying clothes are more important to us because modern teenagers like us 
enjoy being up to date in terms of fashion, the latest mobile gadgets and sportswear. So you can add this if you're talking about other shops that you have selected. Okay. Now, what do you do with all this information now that you have covered all four questions? Go back to your plan. Ah. Okay. Go back to your plan. I purposely chose a tree, Sean. You know okay. why? Why I chose a tree? Um, because it's nice and pretty. Okay. <laughs> I chose a tree because it has the root, which is the question. I see. And then it branches out to the sub question. Yes, that's make, that right. makes more sense. So <laughs> let's look at our plan. Right. We have your you have already written on that piece of paper. So you can actually write it down like this before you actually start writing your article. Mm -hmm. Plan your article. Okay? And of course there will be also need for you to modify depending on the situation. Maybe you might not like something. Yeah. Right? So you might just take it out and replace it with something else. Okay, so this is how we write. We always it's always good to plan. And remember reading the task, understanding the task, and making a plan. Yes. Right? Okay. Now, since we have already written just now, now it's time for giving comments. Ah. ah okay. okay? And uh, it's better for teenagers to get comments from their peers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in this section, give a peer comment to your friend's work so that they can modify and make it better. Now, your friend has already written. Okay, can you just put up uh, what you have written, everyone? Just put it up to the camera. Ah, this is what you have. Are you happy with it? If you're happy, put the thumbs up. Right, you're happy with what you have written? Great. Okay, but do you want to make it better? Of course we do. We always yes. want to make things better, right, Sean? Yeah, of course. Okay, so in order for us to make it better, we can get a peer to comment so that maybe we can modify a little bit and make it sound better. All right, it's always good to get uh, someone to look at our work so yes. that, you know, because you know, if I were to put this um, in an analog uh, analogy, for example, like for example, what I'm wearing today, I'll probably ask my friend, or before I even purchase, example, since we're in the topic of shopping, right? You know, I'll ask a friend, do you think uh, this pair of shoes is nice? So I think it's the same when it comes to this article, where we can ask our friend or our peer whether what we have written is it suitable? Can it be modified? Can it be enhanced so that we can get that perfect article? Correct, exactly my what I was thinking. Okay. Now, here, I'm going to get two of you to comment on the other two's work. All right. So, who, where, who, sh who wants to start first? Who would like to start? Okay, Hugo. Hugo. Hugo, whose work are you going to comment on? I'll comment on Izan's work. Okay. Izan, can you do us a favor? Can you please um, put up what you wrote earlier? Okay. This is what he wrote earlier. It is important for us because it makes us more trendy and modern looking. Okay, now how would you modify this, Hugo? Um, based on his answers, I will add a question at the end of his sentence. This will make the paragraph more interesting. Okay, so you, he says that, Hugo says that he will add a question, isn't He's asking you to add a question to make it sound more interesting. And we also remember, right, by adding questions, we make it more interactive oh, right that's true yes okay all right uh isn't can you show us w the the new modified version of your answer i think he's still writing it out there okay now all right right let's have a look um it is important for us because it makes us more trendy and modern looking who doesn't want to look good ah, ah wow. okay can we have a look isn't how you've written it? Okay, oh. he's a little bit shy. Probably he was doing it too fast. I guess yeah. so. <laughs> All right, so he has uh, modified his answer based on Hugo's uh, comment mm -hmm. and added uh, the question, who doesn't like to look good? good. Yeah. So that is what you're going to ask your readers. Very good. Okay, how about the girls? 
Now, um, Eka, Eka, you are going to comment on Bhavan. All right, so let's look at Bhavan's work. Okay, Bhavan has written this earlier. We saw this just now. She mentioned about the clothes shop and that sells accessories, shoes and jewellery. Very good. Now, Eka, how are you going to modify this? What comment are you going to give Bhavan? Uh, based on her answer, I think I would like to comment, instead of using the word they, I think she should change it to we, so that she includes the readers as well. I see. Okay, very good. Eka, uh, thank you, Eka. Bhavan, did you get catch that point? Yes? Yes. Very good. Okay, can we see your new modified answer? Fantastic. Okay, so now it sounds like, I think... Uh, can I have a look again, uh, Bhavan? I think that the kind of shops we would prefer are clothes shops. Sean? Yes. Alright, so we are all going shopping now. Yes. Okay? So, great. Alright, and uh, it's wonderful that Eka has also remembered the feature of an opening paragraph for an article, which uh, indicates that we must use we or us. Yes, that's true. Right, to include our readers. Fantastic. Okay. All right. So, we have um, reached the end of our part, mm -hmm. right, for the speaking. Maybe we can get one more uh, student or one more pupil to ask. I think uh, earlier we had uh, Ika asking, uh, sorry, Eka asking Bhavan, right? Have we done that just yet? Yes. Yes, we, we also have. had Hugo asking uh, Ezen. Maybe we can ask... Um, Maybe we can ask someone else to also give a comment to anyone else's article. Okay. Of how you can modify um, that. Very good. Good idea. Let's have Ika. Ika, can you put up your question, please? Your answer, sorry. All right. Normally, girls would buy dresses and skirts, whereas boys, sh t shirts and shorts. All right. How can we modify this? How can we modify this? Anyone has any idea? how we can modify it to make it sound a little bit more interesting. What can we do? Bhavan, would you like to try? Since Ika commented on you, maybe you can comment on her work now. What would you like sure. to say? Uh, Ika, if you don't mind, can you just please put it up so that Bhavan can refer to it? I think she should add a, sen a question at the end of a sentence. Okay, for example, what kind of uh, question? Her sentence is normally girls would buy dresses and skirts whereas boys would buy t-shirts and shorts. Maybe she can add a question like isn't it true? Okay, mm. isn't it true? Right, because generally boys and girls would buy those skirts, dresses, t-shirts and shorts. Yes. Right? So, going back to the readers. That's right. right. Making it a little bit more interesting as compared to the original article. And right now, we're going to take a short break and back to you for our perform on DDTV KPM. DDTV KPM.